Hello, this is Chiak. We are back again with another set of, <laughs> of Orwell where I am trying for the life of me to figure out... Is there anything more I can see on this page? Oh. Oh, alias for Nina. What a strange alias name. Okay, there we go. This? Something here I can be looking at. Welcome to thought. I kind of know. Yeah, this is going to keep going back to. Okay, I'll stop making work for the. <laughs> Still don't know anything about Nina here. Or Angela. The web of... Middle Fairview or Bonton. Again, I don't know if I want to put that one down. I mean, I guess we have to. Because he doesn't believe in coincidences. Hmm, yes, I read the article. That was strange indeed. And with the bombings now... Safety of any citizen is utmost importance that has been the party's premise ever since ever since it has been working like a charm. Yeah, I don't think this is what he meant by... It's not him supporting the government position, that's definitely just him stating that the, the government's premise is what's got them into power, or at least given them power, or something like that. Um... See, this is weird, it says conflicting data, but I don't know what this is supposedly conflicting with. I'm tempted to put it in because she herself is stating it's not something that's here, that's not like something, information that's coming from somewhere else, but she herself is stating that she has organized a peaceful protest. Freedom Plaza and Estelle again very well. It is a pattern, exactly as we suspected. We still have no idea about the third location. You need to be diligent now. Lives might be hanging in the balance. All oh, right, because the bombs have taken place, or certain protests have taken place. In the worst case, that we cannot determine the location on time. We might as well have to conduct interrogation with Miss Watergate. I want to avoid it, though. She's behaving pretty pretty defiantly, I have been told. Considering what you found so far, I think we have a bit short on leverage on her. We're a bit short on leverage on her. Maybe you could care to take a second look at things. Oh. I'm assuming everything is being reinstated. Knock, knock, Harrison. The thoughts are free once again. We are not done yet. You 
and me. But first on, I must turn to another. So this could be something against the group itself. Possibly. Okay, so we've read this, our thoughts still free. Oh, whoops, not that. Use your gold fells. Okay. It says entry five. Oh, this is say anything Hancock possibly. Hancock aka Harrison wrote. Okay. So this again, this is 2015. The fight for freedom will be carried into the streets starting today and thought will be the spearhead. The government consists only of ass kicking and motherfucking turds. What is this conflicting with? It's weird, nothing is yet connected with conf the conflicts that are shown. Uh, the beauty is that freedom of speech. Isn't it great that in this country, I can say whatever I please and no one can hold it against me? It's just my opinion and you might disagree. You shouldn't because I'm right at that. But yeah, you may. And you might as well judge me to be an asshole and that is fine too. It isn't. As long as it will not have legal consequences for me. I think it is a great I think it is a great measurement of the amount of freedom in our country that as long as I am able to write this and there isn't any governmental lackey taking in that statement and reporting it to some superior, we truly are free. George o Orwell said, if liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. True that. With the current course towards more and more surveillance, our state of the na nation's slow metamorphosis, it is inevitable that this will change one day. And it's damn well possible that that day isn't too far off at all. There must be a counterweight to this process and the answer can only be the thoughts no longer stays in our head. No, we will carry into the streets of the nation, become transformed, and by that, re-implanted back into the minds and invincible idea that we shall always be truly free. Okay, this is a great moment. I'm glad we're finally... Oh, this is concerned one. This is a great moment. I'm glad we finally get action. Any plans where we still strike first? What do you... Who do you think I am, huh? Of course I do. We will hold a nice little proclamation where we were born. Let's piss off the so-called young elite. No offense, Abe. My friends, though I share your enthusiasm towards acquiring people's attention, it would be better to avoid Stelgen as a place of demonstration for the moment. Because of the increased student fees, the atmosphere is heated, heated up enough as is. We might be able to get back to Stelgen later on. Ah, oh, what a pity. But you're probably right, Abe. So what about holding a proclamation on the government's building then? Sounds like... Unroll the banners from the roof, that kind of thing. I think we should... We need to strike in the heart of the everyday people to really cause a stir. We should go for storming a Bonton Mall for, as our first things first. Maybe even wait until it's all busy, say around Christmas. Although I know we want to gather more people to join us, we should not discuss the matter here. There are eyes out there who might be malevolent towards us. Okay, so for the first protest, there's two possibilities. So uh, declare thought to be a revolutionary activist, activist group. Oops, wrong profile. And... So, an activist group after all, and now we know who had the primary say in it. Okay. Thought must change direction. 2000... 
16. This is by Goldfeld Abraham. I thoroughly believed we were able to capture minds if only we could garner attention on thought as a group and what we stand for. It seems my ambition was once again too much. Oh, so we've read this one before. Creating two of my students and arranging three demonstrations like the one held at Freedom Plaza. I am obliged to ask myself where we stand, have we reached our goal, blah, blah, blah. Frankly and sadly, the answer to the latter is a resounding no. We let ourselves be consumed by anger and hatred towards those we thought to do us wrong. Thoughts are free, but that does no way. I now see my aims might, might well be the cause for all the events of the past months more than anyone else. Reacts with hatred reacts with hatred and anger about troubled past who feels responsible I am consequence okay so obviously this one I think this one he does not he's not reacting with hatred and anger 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 <laughs> as a consequence I will now halt my active engagement in this group okay before I want to read everything first Oh yeah, and then this, okay, so we've already, and we've already read this one. Okay, so I think with Goldfell. Oh wait, please reconsider, the guy hurt there was only a goddamn cop. All the way, they had it coming for, for long, okay. It was messy, I know, all the way back to the thing I messed up organizing. But hell, look at the bright side, we made the news. This is what we wanted and what you wanted. Okay. So. Nina. Interesting. What did she do for thought that she might have messed up? They had it coming for long. See, this like this alone, don't know, but with added with this, it does give that suggestion. That said, these are written words. We're just gonna have to base off the information that we currently have, and this is what we have. I bet this goes both ways. Okay, now for Abraham, he definitely feels a sense of guilt. See, this is feels responsible for troubled passive thought, hinted at troubled passive thought. Troubled pass, I will say we get to the bottom of this. We will have to get to the bottom of this. Okay. Um. So was it metamorphosis? Again, it's not showing where the conflict is. That's what's really throwing me off. It's 2015. July 24, 2015. And then uh, this one. Wow, this is within a two year time frame. So, since it was her idea, Nina planned it? Are you sure? A mall? Well, that must be it then. That's where the third bomb will be. But there are dozens of malls at Bonton. Which one is it? Alright, if that is all we have, it's what we have to work with. So let's get this interrogation thing going before we run out of time. I'm actually located in the same facility where Miss Wargate is being detained. 
I will have her move to an interrogation room and walk across to cover my identity. I will connect to her via an internal hard line. Let's just hope that what you have provided us gives us enough leverage over her. I will open the connection for you to eavesdrop after all this is your case too. Plus we need all the possible info found in Orwell. Hold on. Okay, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Who is this? Why can't you just leave me alone? Miss Wargate, my name is Sims. Great, Sims. You can go fuck it yourself. I already told the other guys everything over and over and over again. It wasn't me who hurt the off. We have new evidence that states otherwise, which is why you are in custody again. But that's not what this is about. We are investigating the bombings at Freedom Plaza and Selgin. I just want to ask you some questions. Cooperate and it might reflect positively on you. Oh, you want to frame me for this as well? I must be such a busy terrorist. I was right here imprisoned while I set up a goddamn bomb at Stelgen. We know you didn't trigger the bomb at Stelgen, maybe not even the one at Freedom Plaza. We do know, however, you have been in close contact with a group called Thought. What? They have nothing to do with it. I want to talk to my lawyer right now. You mean that boyfriend of yours, Joseph Langley? My boyfriend? You know that? We know a lot about you, Miss Wargate. Bah, I don't need to call him then. Now shove off. Your defiance towards me is not advisable. What about your parents, Bruno and Alice? They've got a nice company, don't they? Association with criminal case against their daughter yet again could hurt them badly. <laughs> Last time I was in custody, they all, all they ever did about it was suggesting I'd leave my position as junior COO. Does that give you an impression of a picture of a perfect family? Well, have it your way then. We have your confession in regards to that nasty incident with the police officer. We have to go through that whole process again. It's going to drag on for a long time. And where did you get this supposed confession? I never did anything. Miss Carrington stated this in a conversation with you. Have you been spying on us, you dirty little government fucker? Well, I hope you also noted that she stated that happened. this happened in defense. Indeed, we did note that. That doesn't. That does mean you have nothing on me. This isn't going to end well for you, Miss Watergate. Come on, don't hold back. Hit me with that nasty information you have on me. I have absolutely no obligation to tell you what we know about you. So, you're bluffing. You're downright bluffing, huh? I am not bluffing. You have nothing on me, you governmental scum, and now you're afraid. Huh. Bet you're even blushing. This will have serious consequences, Miss Watergate. I'm really not in the mood to talk to someone who is full of bullshit a second longer. Goodbye. That did not go as planned, not at all, damn. Why did we have so little exploitable info on her? She was not intimidated at all. We cannot afford such failure. So what do we do now? We are running out of time and options. Evacuate just by making educated guesses that would cause a PR disaster. We need ideas and fast, else. No, 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 no. We could have prevented this. We could have. I know it. If only we had done things differently. I, I don't shit. There's going to be some serious fallout from this. I'll do what I can to keep us both in a job. We need to pull this group apart. Tomorrow I will have serious looks at the remaining members, this Nina. Until then, you are dismissed. What exploitable information was I supposed to be able to find? Breaking news, a circle mall hit by terrorist assault. The circle mall has reportedly been attacked with an explosive device and is being sealed off by the police. Our news desk has just been informed that a detonation has occurred at the Circle Mall in Bonton. At this moment, police forces have secured the surrounding areas and are continuing to evacuate members of the public trapped inside. An emergency helicopter has been sighted at the location along with several ambulances. It is currently unknown how many people have been harmed due to the in incident. We will continue to update this report as the situation develops. Police spokesperson have advised the public to keep clear of any surroundings the Circle Mall at this time. I'm just trying to think what exploitable information we may or may not have had because, I mean, what, there was like the one where it's like she, she works in torture, but clearly that was as a joke and not meant to be, 
not meant to be taken seriously. Yeah, nothing's changed there. Again, why is this still highlighted despite the fact that it's already... <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's actually preventable, that's why I'm, I'm kind of curious because... We need, what is it, we need exploitable information But what was there to exploit? Because so far everything that we found, I mean, her parents did pay off someone to get the investigation under the rug. So maybe, I don't know, maybe it just isn't, there is no exploitable information for her. Sorry, I'm just really having a look. Okay. So the one thing I don't know about is... Um, is Harrison O'Donnell... I mean, I don't know if he's hostile to the government anymore. He's definitely not with the government. Or maybe this won't show up until later. So you know what? Until the conflict shows up, we won't do anything with it. Are you sure you want to finish your work for today? All unprocessed dad chunks will expire. Ooh, I don't know. So I really don't think he supports the government's He's definitely not in support of the governments, but I don't think he's as hostile towards them. Okay, this actually is not hostile. Rejects governmental position. I think that is still true. Anything else would have come as a surprise. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking that's what the the those three were what in conflict. Either he was hostile, supportive, or he just rejects it, but that's not exactly antagonistic. Yeah, okay. So I think we're good. I don't know what's up with this. It's still... Oh, shoot. <laughs> Next day. Based on the data submitted, we learned the following. Assault at Stelgen. Another bombing occurred at Stelgen. Identical letter. Oh my god, I can't read! <laughs> okay, well... Yes, she got recruited. Hyde passed his secure job at TNB. You know his address, he writes for the National Beholder. All right, day three. Here we are again after having stared into the abyss, not unscathed, but alive, and still with a job. I was able to keep us in business. My superiors don't want to give up on Orwell just yet. 
Needless to say, we cannot afford to repeat a failure like yesterday. The TMB is already starting to tear us apart. This Nina character is the final member of Thought that we don't have concrete information on. Since she is the one who planned the protest at the Circle Mall and now a bomb has been found there, she is now a special interest to us. Her stance towards the law enforcement just gives us one more reason, as you found out yesterday. Focus on Nina, but keep watch on the others too. Unknown person. Hearts. Hey, forgot to charge my phone tonight, and yeah, so I have to do this do this old-fashioned way. I really want to thank you for the very nice evening. I haven't enjoyed myself so much in, well, ever. Only to be taught by that night, that is. I was hoping you'd drop by CCC and come pick me up tonight. We can cook together and maybe watch something, and who knows, maybe continue where we left off. You in? Funny, I just realized that I've never been to your place even after all these years we've known each other. So I figured you're hiding another love affair of yours there. Are you? Probably your ex, the one you've been talking about ever so often when I was around. Or this girl that's always yammering on about how she despises the safety bill, Nina, I think? Come to think of it, for all that torment you owe me big time, so I really, really demand to come to your place. Love you, Marka. If you're going to... If you are going to the city center today, please, pre please, pretty please take care of yourselves with all the bombs and stuff. Don't stay any longer as necessary. Why would someone oppose a safety bill? We have the lowest crime rate in years, or possibly ever. You and me, we have a job thanks to the bill. The only reason to not support it is if you have a dirty past. With the situation as he does is, it sounds like someone we should have we should have a very close look at. We need a full examination first, the concrete background, who is she? Second, what motivates her? What does she want? And finally, where was she around the time of the bombings? Catastrophe strikes the circle mall, kills one. Okay, let's read this. Is this just the Arcole? Oh, interesting. This is uh, also his response to what he wrote the previous article. Okay. Third terrorist strike in Bonton targets the Circle Mall despite investigative efforts. One person killed by the explosion, three others hospitalized, though the crow refuses to give a statement. Yesterday evening, the Circle Mall in Bonton was hit by yet another terrorist bombing. Around 7.21pm, an explosive device detonated within the building, instantly killing a man and severely injuring three other people persons. The interior of the mall was heavily damaged. Due to the attack, the Ministry of Security has ramped up police presence in Bonton and Fairview area. Captain Daryl Crow, head of the ministry, is expected to come under fire from the media after previous claims that safety investigation, investigation measures would be sufficient to prevent any further attacks. Daryl Crow has refused to give a statement, but the entire Ministry of Security is under pressure to present investigative success and to bring the perpetrator to justice. Uh, I was there, okay. So let's get something abundantly clear to begin with. I feel bad. I feel like a fucking moron, and rightly so. In last week's uh, National Opinion article, I blabbered about how some bombs would soon go off in Bonton and Fairview but at the time just to advertise my point of view. I'm truly sorry for everyone involved or affected by those terrible events. It was never my intention to ridicule or trivialize the attacks in Bonton. Well, if you have not been living under a rock in the massive boulder at the time, for the last couple of days, you absolutely must have heard that is pretty much exactly what went do down. It's far beyond, I hate to say it, but I told you so. The fact that none of the announced bombings could be prevented by the new investigation methods naturally raised critical questions. How the hell is this possible at all when we have all the CCTV and new safety regulations out there? 
Why spend so much money for mechanisms that don't protect lives as they should? Why is there still no real suspect in sight, not even to mention in custody? Those questions neglect one fact though. People killing asswipes are among us. They are our neighbors, they are like you, they are like me, mind you, they are most certainly not like me. <laughs> it's tough for cameras and other automated safety mes systems to recognize a criminal or terrorist before he actually commits a crime. They cannot look into houses and certainly, thankfully, cannot look into the souls of a passerby. We the people of our great nation must grow ever more vigilant. We ourselves must stand up for our safety alongside of high-tech security mechanisms as those can only work in addition to our own perception. Let's not get intimidated and not back down to some shitheads thinking they can spoil our way of life. Report suspicious things going on as soon as you learn about them. It's your duty to the community, but most, mostly yourselves. Loose lips can also sink terrorist ships, figuratively speaking. Okay. Strange way to sell one point. He's so peculiar he mentioned bombings before anything happened, but well. I mean. I mean, yeah, this sort of, we'll see. What do you guys say about this, sir? He's right, we cannot save everyone, but we're still the watchful eye of the nation. Okay. But that, I'm gonna have to end the set here. We're gonna have to continue on next time. So, huh, day three. I don't know, I'm kind of curious if is it even possible to stop that, the third, that third um, attack or not. I'll look at myself in the meantime. Thank you for liking if you like. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribed. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. Thank you for simply clicking on this video. Until next time, guys. See ya.